Point State Fair, and horses are on the track for the first race. We get underway with several overnight or non-stakes races today. The first of which is for two-year-old trotters who are Illinois bred. First half of the daily double, win, play, show, and exact a wagering. No scratches, no driver changes. Less than five minutes to post. And here are the starters for the first race at DuCoin. Number one, Roll of Victory, owned by Harvey Eisman of Flint, Michigan, trained by Irvin Miller, Andy Miller in the bike. Number two is TR Lady Luck, owned by John Link of Springfield, trained by John Cisna. Mike Rogers will drive. Number three is Saffron Job, owned by Elizabeth and Kathy Rutherford of Paw, Paw Michigan and LaGrange Park, Illinois, trained and driven by Kathy Rutherford. Number four, Raina Bella, owned by Dirk Simpson of Sherman, by Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights by Craig and Bill Wright of Morton, trained by Dirk Simpson, and he is also the driver. Number five, Ricochet Pete, owned by Morris and Jacqueline Brown of Sedalia, Missouri, Charles Allen Finn, the trainer driver. Number six, Lana's Green Gables, leased by Gary and Larry Northrup of Winchester, trained by Gary Northrup, Dale Heitman will be the driver. And number seven, Ashley's Lad, is owned by Jim Travis of New Bern, Tennessee, trained by Willie Jones with Clay Simpson in the bike. First race will be at the post in three minutes. Three minutes to post. Roll of victory off stride. The rest are off and trotting. Lana's Green Gables for the lead on the outside. Then TR Lady Luck down toward the rail. Raina Bella gets away racing in third, followed by Ricochet Pete. Ashley's Lad, Saffron Job, and Roll of Victory settles at the back. Now some 12 to 13 lengths off the lead. In fact, Roll of Victory has just made another break and will have plenty of ground to make up. TR Lady Luck leads it by three to the quarter mile mark. Lana's Green Gables goes second by a length and a half, followed by Raina Bella in third. A gap of three more to Ricochet Pete, Saffron Job on the outside of Ashley's Lad, and Roll of Victory, the distant trailer. 30 and four fifths to time for the opening quarter. TR Lady Luck leads it by two onto the back stretch now. Lana's Green Gables second by two. Raina Bella third toward the inside. Saffron Job moves up on the outside into third by a neck, followed by Ricochet Pete, Ashley's Lad, and Roll of Victory. Better than 25 lengths off the leader trailing the field. TR Lady Luck leads it by three parts of a length, and now Saffron Job moves up on the outside to challenge for the lead. A margin of two more to Ricochet Pete, who's up to the outside to challenge Lana's Green Gables for third. The half in 102 and four-fifths. Raina Bella is fifth down toward the rail, still five lengths off the lead. Then a gap of five more back to Ashley's Lad, and finally Roll of Victory is last, and they're midway on the final turn. TR Lady Luck leads at three parts of a length. Saffron Job needs to find more. He's second on the outside. Lana's Green Gables is locked in third on the rail. Ricochet Pete is fourth on the outside by a half length. Raina Bella desperately hunting racing room, and then Ashley's Lad. Past the three quarters and 134 and two. Saffron Job moves up on the outside of TR Lady Luck. Lana's Green Gables third on the rail. Ricochet Pete goes way wide from fourth. Still three lengths off the lead. Moving by the eighth pole, Raina Bella behind a wall of horses. It is Saffron Job trying to move up on the outside of TR Lady Luck. Now Lana's Green Gables toward the rail. Ricochet Pete and Raina Bella toward the outside. Raina Bella trotting on by for the lead. Ricochet Pete tries to go with her. Raina Bella in front. Ricochet Pete second at the line. Raina Bella gets up by just over a length. Ricochet Pete was second. Lana's Green Gables third in 207 flat. Into the winner's circle for the first race at DuCoin, number four, Raina Bella, co-owned, trained, and driven by Dirk Simpson. Raina Bella, a two-year-old Armbro Charger filly, bred by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, Illinois. Sherman is now where Dirk Simpson resides, although he is a native downstate of Fairfield. Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, the co-owners, along with Craig and Bill Wright of Peoria and Morton, Illinois, and Bill Wright and wife Maddie are in the winner's circle to join driver Dirk Simpson. This filly raced in the Illinois State Fair eliminations at Springfield where she was the beaten favorite. Things just did not go according to plan that day for her and then uh, was scratched sick as you can tell from the program in the State Fair consolation. So Dirk Simpson taking the cautious route and bringing this filly back very carefully and he drops her down from the stakes races to this overnight and pays off with a win. 
Result is official, 4-5 exact, a $52.